what's up guys and welcome back to my channel how are y'all doing today um so i just finished up filming the last bit of my honey's handmade coconut water leave-in condition and glycerin free gel review i don't know when that's gonna be up i don't know when this is gonna be up y'all i have so much content that i film i don't know when anything's going up i'm, I'm just gonna pick and choose at this point like <laughs> But as you can see, I've been playing in makeup today. Um, I am trying to get on the cut crease game. And I think I did pretty good. This this blending is like, in this lip, I'm a big fan of my work. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know if I will do a tutorial because the tutorials tend to crash and burn on my channel, but um, maybe keep an eye out on my Instagram. I might hop on there and show you guys how I did this. If you want to see it. Because it, it's really cute. It's really cute. And I use the ColourPop palette. So it's a pretty inexpensive look too. Actually most of everything on my face except for my primer and my mascara is pretty inexpensive. So if you want to see more about this let me know. Let me know. But y'all didn't come here to talk about my makeup. I wasn't expecting to come on here and just slay today, okay? I was not expecting to do this, okay? So I had to talk about it. Y'all are here to see some hair products. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I like to live vicariously through people's hauls. I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna be shopping because we don't know what the state of anything is going to be at any point any given time right now I mean that's the truth for anything in life but especially right now um and so I did a little bit of shopping before shit really hit the fan um because I kind of been planning some more things I saw some products that I hadn't heard of before that I wanted to try and y'all know honey's handmade Melba's kitchen box just dropped so I figured why not just go ahead and put it all together and do a collective haul so if you are interested in seeing what hair products I've picked up recently then just Keep watching got my coffee of course i also have some water with me because i've been slacking on my water who else has been slacking on my water i feel like when i'm going out and doing things i'm always refilling my water cup but when i'm just at home and can't go nowhere i don't re be refilling my water cups so i'm trying to remind myself to do better because i drink like a fish at work but i'm at home and i ain't drinking nothing but coffee i know Let's start with something that y'all probably ain't gonna be super excited about, but um, I came across it and I was like, why didn't anybody tell me this exists? And I decided to get it. So Dove relaunched their curly hairline. And I say relaunched because people be trying to act like Dove ain't have one before. Four or five years ago, they came out with a curly hairline that I was in love with like absolutely obsessed with the shampoo um the conditioner they had a mask and a curl cream and I was in love with all of them I guess they decided to just kind of go ahead and discontinue it and because eventually I stopped getting it because it was harder and harder to find um and I guess they decided to relaunch with this but I used to love that line back in the day so Dove been on the curly and natural hair train I'm just saying, I'm just saying, look, I'm not a huge Dove stand. Like I use a body wash and, you know, stuff like that. And I use their deodorant and everything. But I'm just saying, it's not like they just now realize that natural hair exists. They've been on the train. So I decided to get their entire new curly hair line. And this is called their Amplified Textures line. So I got the Hydrate and Cleanse Shampoo for coils, curls, and waves. And this is sulfate free. This has, um, what are they called? Surfactants that I do like. Um, and there is some shea butter and coconut oil in here. And they're not all the way at the bottom of the ingredients list either. So, and this entire line smells the same. It's like a sweet, It's like a sweet kind of perfumey scent. It doesn't smell the way that the old one did. I was kind of hoping that they bring that old scent back because the scent on the old um, curly hairline was so good. But this one is really good too. So they have the shampoo and it also has a thickness to it. So we'll see how that goes. And I also went ahead and got the super slip detangling conditioner for coils, curls, and waves. 
And I like the packaging on these. I like that they didn't go the usual, you know, black and gold and, you know, stuff like that route. Like it's, it's kind of gotten old. Like once Pantene did their line, like that was just kind of it. <laughs> I was just like, okay, can we not have the same theme anymore? Like black people like other colors. I'm just saying. <laughs> So I like that this collection is colorful and different from what you see from most curly hairlines. Um, this ain't got the best ingredients at all, but I'm not expecting it to have the best ingredients. This actually has petroleum and dimethicone. So, um, but y'all know, I try things that I like. I'm not an ingredient snob. And I know that not everybody that watches me is an ingredient snob. So it is what it is. Um, I also got the <clears throat> Moisture Spa Recovery Mask for Coils and Curls. And I'm really excited about the texture on this. Um, this does also have cones in it, but this does not have petroleum in it. Um, and this does have some good ingredients, like um, higher on the list, there's some shea butter, some coconut oil, some honey. Um, so I do appreciate that the marketed ingredients aren't all the way at the bottom. That is something that I tend to look for. And it doesn't always make a difference. Like, I've tried some products recently because I'm not going to say which line because I don't know if I've uploaded it yet. But I still found the products to be very, like, super duper nourishing and everything and really treated my hair well, even though the marketed ingredients weren't all the way at the bottom. But... It is nice to see, especially if a brand is like very high priced. I like to see those marketed ingredients at the top. It smells so good. And that's the texture. It looks like it's very whipped. It looks like it's, it looks like it's thick, but I have the feeling that it's going to be more of that like whipped texture. So excited about that. And all of these are a good size. This is 10 and a half ounces and the shampoo and conditioner are 11.5 ounces so I'll get tons of use out of those and then I did get the um <clears throat> moisturizing and styling products so first up is the moisture lock leave-in for curls coils and waves I really like this bottle it's really cute um and this one says it's made with jojoba are all these made with jojoba now these all highlight something different. Some of them just say there's a moisture amplifying blend. This one highlights jojoba. Um, and there is coconut oil, shea, and jojoba seed oil pretty high up. But there is, you know, there are cones in here. I'm expecting there to be cones in here. Because it don't say nothing about not having cones. I'm expecting cones to be in here. But that doesn't really bother me. And especially now that the, um, it's getting warmer out. It's been a little humid, not super humid, but a little humid. I can actually appreciate having the extra cones in my products because it really helps with me um, kind of retaining that water and not sucking everything out from the environment, you know? And then I did get both of the stylers from the collection. The first one is the Twist in Moisture Shaping Buttercream for Coils and Curls. You can see all up in my ring light. <laughs> so there we go. And this is a lot looser than I expected. I thought it was going to be super duper thick, but it's not. It's definitely looser. I was actually watching Faye in the City the other day, and she got a really nice wash and go with this. And I really, I appreciated how she reviewed it, because she was like, it's not my go-to line, but she was like, this is the kind of line where, like, if you out of town you forgot all your natural hair products it's super affordable and super effective and it's like the perfect collection to pick up i think that's a great description i was like you know what i know exactly what you mean i know exactly what you mean like it's not gonna replace my main choice and it's not gonna replace my she sent it but if i ain't got nothing she gonna come through i appreciate that description this one is also with jojoba and yeah, the coconut oil, shea butter, and jojoba seed oil are all high up, which I can appreciate. So I'm excited to try this, and I'm really excited about this. This is the Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel for Curls and Waves. And this kind of got messed up from the tape that they put on the products. 
but there we go i just love the way this looks um and this one says it's with aloe glycerin is the second ingredient on this so do be aware of that but there's also some hydrogenated castor oil aloe vera shea butter and coconut oil very high up in here um and this also does have vpva copolymer in here i'm excited to try this actually even though it does seem like it's going to be a little lightweight a little serum e if i might say um you can see like it's not it's not a thick gel but I also feel like this would be a nice like light finisher on top of this. I don't know how I'm going to use all the products. I don't. I might just, you know, decide to get a wild hair and slap everything in my head. I don't know. I just kind of, I got so much time on my hands, y'all, that I'm just doing kind of whatever. But I'm really excited to try this out. And this is eight fluid ounces. So this is the smallest product in the line. But yeah, I'm excited to try this collection. I don't know, like I said, I previously had amazing results with the older Dove line. Like that was like a staple collection for me. So I'm really, really, really excited to try that Let's out. Let's do Honey's Handmade. This box right here. So I have the Melbus box right here and it is very beat up. <laughs> you can see it has their last day recipe and They have like the old school containers and this melba on the back if you don't know anything about the melba's box this is basically like a tribute to her mother um valencia who is the owner this is basically a tribute to her mother so she did this last year and it was like a whole buzz like she came out with it and people it wasn't really on people's radar but then she did the honey bunches of vloggers thing and she gave them a box and they were sharing it and people like went crazy and were getting mad because they couldn't get their order. Like it was just, it was a whole lot. I don't think they expected that to blow up the way that it did because the box had already been out for like a couple of months and then people were like, well, I want it now. And they were like, whoa, <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, the, the marketing and the working with the vloggers paid off, right? So she puts in like a few different cards in here about... Um, her mom. This collection was inspired by Mrs. Melba. Our owner decided to supply you with pure soul food for your tresses. Mrs. Melba is our owner's late mother and she nourished her family souls with hearty recipes every Sunday in their very own kitchen. This year's anniversary is extremely special because it's a reflection of a very special part of her memory. Our hope is that everyone in the world experiences the joy she brought to her family and friends. Our owner experienced many emotions while curating these products. We watched her pour an abundance of love into each product. Simple ingredients, yet very effective. Mrs. Melba was especially known for her phenomenal cooking, and this box is sure to nourish your hair and soul. Thank you for celebrating. I think that's just so sweet. Like, this is so sweet. I almost, I, I, I got a little misty reading it. That's so sweet. Um, I was really sad that I wasn't able to partake in this box last year, but y'all know um, it's been a little back and forth with me and Honey's Handmade because not all the products have really shown up and shown out for me, but I love Miss Valencia. She's so sweet. She's a fellow Indo warrior, um, and I can see the intention with the products, and I was like, I really want to get this year's box, so. Um, and then they put a wash day recipe in here, too, um, and then they also put in a recipe for um, Miss Melba's Mixed Greens which i mean i need to i need to go to the stove so i might get some collars and some mustard greens so i can make that because <laughs> it sounds really really good i won't read everything because i'm going to do a full video on all of these products so let's go ahead and dive in the first product i have sitting right here i actually have already used this this is the creamy corn silk hair serum for healthy hair, instant shine, it's supposed to tame frizz, frizz, tame frizz, and strengthen naturally. And this smells like, it smells like an alcoholic beverage. I ain't even gonna lie. But it smells really, really good. Um, the only thing is that this one is in yellow, so it's kind of hard to read. But there's um, corn silk, um, vitamin E, pro-vitamin B. Vitamin A, angelica root, horsetail, 
grape seed, marshmallow root, and calendula petals. So I don't know if you can see the stuff floating in there. You can see it a little bit, but those are calendula petals and they're very pretty and shiny and nice to look at, but I've already used this and it feels so good. It's so silky. Um, so calming, calling this the creamy corn silk hair serum is definitely like on brand with that because it is very creamy. Feels amazing. I mean, it did add some extra shine to my hair today. So I actually really like this and it smells delicious. There's also the Melba's Lemonade and Cucumber Curl Revival Mist Refresher. And this also has lots of really, really good ingredients like cucumber, hydrosol, lemongrass, glycerin, castor oil. And this smells really good too. This also smells like its name. You can smell the cucumber and you can smell the lemon. It smells really, really good. Um, so super excited to try this out. <clears throat> I think this is one of the things I'm the most excited about. This is the Melba's Light Beer and Ale Honey Lather Hand Poured Poo Bar. And I'm really excited to try this. Um, I haven't used a shampoo bar since back in the day when I was using my Lush Godiva, which I was a huge fan of. That's what it looks like. I'm super excited to try this and I've heard really good things about it from the people who have already had their boxes for a minute. Um, and this has propylene glycol, sodium lauryl sulfate, stearic acid water, sodium hydroxide, and there is honey and beer in here as well. A lot of people are mad that this has a sulfate in it and I'm just like, y'all, I don't mean to sound like mean, but can we just get over it? Like not every natural cares about the same thing. Like you get 10 products for $65. Is it going, is the sulfate going to ruin your hair? Probably not. But not every natural wants the same thing. Like leave Honey's Handmade alone. And I know they've been getting a lot of um, requests for a truly, truly like clarifying cleansing shampoo. So they're trying to tend to the request of all of the naturals that shop with them. Not everybody wants the same thing. Not everybody cares about sulfate. Not everybody cares about silicone. Leave us people who don't care alone. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me live. <laughs> I'm also excited to try out this Melba's Detoxifying Buttermilk Stone Grit Scalp Scrub. This got a little messed up. All of these were wrapped really well. They were like shrink wrapped really well. I took all the plastic off because I'm that person. I wanted to smell everything. And I'm about to film a whole review with them anyway, so it don't matter. Um, but a lot of people were like not into the texture. So we'll, we'll see. This is made with coarse sea salt. And you can see like it's definitely coarse. And I think it came with a, what did I do with it? Yeah, I did. It came with a little spoon, which I think is really cute. That way you don't overdo it with the product. Um, and then you don't have to get like your wet hands in here because it will melt the salt. Y'all, this smells so good. But this has salt, citric acid. There's chia seed, stone grit powder. So you are getting that in there. There's buttermilk, cumin, olive, soap root powder. There's apple cider vinegar, which you can kind of smell. Um, and then the essential oil blend that they use in this smells so good. It smells like the Whole Foods bath and body section. If you know, you know. <laughs> There's also the Melba's Butter Pecan Curl Defining Hair Butter. I'm really excited to try this, y'all. These products smell so good. Like, all of these smell absolutely divine. And this has like a light butter pecan fragrance and it's a light hair butter. So I'm excited about this. I'm gonna tell y'all kind of what I'm thinking about how I'm going to use the box because obviously there's a lot of stuff here and I wanna try to review as much of it as I possibly can, so. And then there's the Melba's Omega 3 and Fatty Acid Shaft Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. Y'all, I'm really excited about this. The two deep conditioners in here, I'm really hype about. Um, and this smells, oh, it smells so good. This, I don't even know what it smells like, but it smells so good. And look at that texture, y'all. I can't wait to try this. 
Like, I can't wait to try it. And then the other deep conditioner in the collection is the Melba Sweet Potato and Turmeric Healthy Hair Scalp Mask. And there is no doubt that there is turmeric in here because it is bright mellow. So she did the Sweet Potato Low Poo Co-Wash last year. I need to try that. I need to get my hands on that because apparently it's amazing. It's one of the few that she kept. So now she did a deep conditioner this year. And it is definitely more fluid than the other one. That one just looked like, it looked like hair food. It looks like hair food. And we're down to the last three products. This is the Melba's Hair Stuffing Decadent Daily Moisturizer. This also smells <laughs> delicious. <laughs> this smells so good. <sighs> Kind of has a little cinnamon thing going on, but it smells so good. And this is a nice, thick, creamy moisturizer. So I'm super hype about that. And she did say that all of these were formulated to mix with the um, coconut and apple curl glaze. So I am beyond excited about this product because <laughs> um, the texture, oh, and the smell. it smells like an apple crumble. It smells so dang good. And look at that texture. Y'all know I like custardy gels like this. So I'm super excited to try this. Like, I think this is the, the product that I'm the most excited about. And when I saw her tease this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting my box as soon as it launched. She teased that and I was like, yep, getting it as soon as it launches. <laughs> and the last product in here is the Melba Sweet Pea and Spirulina Low Poo Conditioning Co-Wash Cleanser. And this has really good ingredients too. There's Castile Soap, Spirulina, Agave, Eucalyptus, Tea Tree, there's really good ingredients in here. This smells really good too. It's a very fresh, sweet scent. And this has a really nice, thick texture. So I'm also really excited to try this out. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to likely use the shampoo um, and hold off on the co-wash. The co-wash may not get a moment, but I'm gonna try even if it's like I use this after the fact, after everything. So I'm going to try to incorporate this, but I know I'm going to start off with the shampoo bar because I'm really excited about this. I am high key thinking that I'm going to split my head in half and do the Omega-3 mask on one side and then do the sweet potato and turmeric mask on the other side so we can compare how they feel. Y'all, this this going to be this video going to be something else. And I will likely use the um scalp scrub after using the shampoo. I'm thinking I'm going to style my hair with the daily moisturizer and the coconut and apple curl glaze as my wash and go base and come back in a few days and do my um, braid out on dirty hair using the Butter Pecan Curl Defining Hair Butter. I will likely use this as the refresher to kind of moisten everything, get everything rehydrated, all that good stuff, and then apply this to do my braids. And then of course, take my braids down with this. And then the next day I'll probably just try this just to see how it goes. I may or may not, but that's what I'm thinking about right now in terms of a video. Um, so y'all let me know what y'all think, but 10 products, $65. I don't know if it's completely sold out yet, but um, honestly, if I had the money, <laughs> I would get another one because all of these products, just like the smells, the textures, everything, like you can tell she really put a lot of time and thought into this. So I'm really excited. I feel like this is going to be a banger and that's going to be such a fun video to film. I love having fun products, things to really like mix it up and just like have fun with you guys with. So this is going to be a fun video to do, especially during this time where we all have nothing to do but be at home. 
and just play with the stuff that we got. <laughs> Let's do Trey Lux and then we'll finish with She Sent It. I actually just got my She Sent It box, y'all. I'm so excited. So Trey Lux is doing a 25% off sale and I was kind of looking through their products, kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to try. And I came across this kit that they have. Um, and a lot of times I'll just buy stuff like in a kit if they have like a, a discount bundle or something. Um, because it makes it easier for me to do cohesive content. So <laughs> um, I went ahead and got this bundle. I don't remember what the name of it was called, but it was like either $75 or $80 regular price. And then I got the 25% off on top of that. So it was a pretty good deal for all five of these products, um, especially considering that Trey Lux is kind of expensive. Um, I think you can now find Trey Lux at CVS, but prior to that, the only place I'd ever seen them was Whole Foods. So um, that's where I recognize them from. So the first product I have is the Trey Lux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse. This is sulfate free for all curl types and it's color safe. And it says, I think all these products are formulated with their 360 Curls Complex, which is made with tomato extract. Cool. So that's what that looks like. And this is like a semi-translucent, but still kind of creamy shampoo. I don't know if y'all can see that. It just smells really good. I'm just about to make a whole mess. Yep, I'm making a whole mess. Here we go. I might be completely insane by the time Rona is done with us, but can y'all tell I have a lot of pent up um, energy? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I can't even pretend that I don't. So I'm super excited to try this. Um, this is quite a few different um, surfactants in it, but it is sulfate free. There's also some aloe, some glycerin, Squalling, some coconut milk, slippery elm, tomato fruit, rice extract, keratin. So I'm excited to try this. Y'all know me and my shampoos. A lot of y'all were like, girl, I've never seen the natural with so much shampoo. <laughs> y'all know how I am about washing my hair. Like I take my cleansing very seriously and I love to experiment with different cleansers because I love clean hair. Like I love to have nice, fresh and clean hair. Because for me, the wash and go just ain't the same if my hair is dirty all the time, you know? So I'm that natural that has a has a good old stash of cleansers. And then I don't believe they have a deep conditioner in their range. I think you just go straight to the untie the knot nourishing leave-in. This is for wavy, curly, and coily hair. It detangles, nourishes, and replenishes moisture for lively curls. All things that sound out. I mean, who don't who don't want moisture and lively curls, coils, kinks, whatever you got, girl. This smells really good. It smells a lot like that apple curl glaze. With like a little bit of cranberry going on in there. It smells really good. It's a very nostalgic scent. And the packaging on Trey Lux just screams like natural, like it just does. See, it says, let's face it, mother nature can do some serious damage to our precious curls. A constant beating from the elements without the proper protection can leave curls dry brittle and vulnerable to complex knots. But there is hope. Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner was designed with you in mind. The naturally based conditioner formulated with coconut milk, slippery elm, and olive extract allows for ease of detangling while moisturizing and softening every strand of your textured tresses. The formula is reinforced with a combination of avocado and broccoli seed oils to smooth hair and seal the cuticle, helping to maintain healthy curls and coils. Smells good to me. Um, and I think this does say to cleanse hair. Yep, cleanse hair, rinse under warm water for 30 to 60 seconds, and then apply a generous amount of untie the knot. So you're supposed to go straight into this after using their cleanser. And this has dope ingredients, like really dope ingredients. So I'm excited to try this out. I've heard really good things about Trey Lux, so can't wait to try this. And then I have all three of their stylers. The first one I have is the Reflex Curl Styling Serum. This is botanical, 
lightweight and anti-frizz and it's supposed to create bouncy silky natural curls with flexible hold. I see a lot of like curly hair serums like this that are meant to be you know just kind of use as their own styler. Um, I like stuff like this um, and like in reference the Eden Body Works Almond Ma Marshmallow Hydration Serum. I love that because yeah you can use it as a um, styler if you really want to but it's great underneath other products to really plump up your curls and give you extra volume. I don't know if this will work like that but I know that it smells really good. It smells really good and fresh like you you just got out the shower. And what kind of ingredients does she have? The key ingredients in this are aloe leaf juice, coconut water, and grapeseed extract which are all high up. Um, that tomato fruit extract is really high up too in this. Like I said, I like those serum new products, so we'll see how this goes. I am excited to try her because one, it just smells really good, and I haven't used a new like serumy serum gel product in a really long time. So and then I think these are the two products that I see people talk about the most from them: the Curl Supreme Four in One Hydrating Cream and the High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. So obviously there are two different types of products. Curl Supreme is a cream that's supposed to hydrate, strengthen, protect, and style. Those are the four in one claims. Um, and it creates lustrous, moisturized, and defined curls with soft hold. And it has different um, instructions on how to use it if you want a super um, tight hold or if you want um, a lighter hold. And the key ingredients in this are apricot oil, coconut oil, and marshmallow root extract. And this is a really nice looking cream. This smells really good too. Some of you guys said you really didn't like the smell of this, but it doesn't, it smells like something I have. Oh, you know what it smells like? Low key, it smells like, um, a stronger version of the Diva Curl Melt into Moisture, if you've ever used that. the That matcha smell, that's what it smells like to me. So I'm excited to use this. I might try it for like a, you know, cream wash and go because I've seen a lot of people get really pretty cream wash and goes with this. And then I'm really excited to try the High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel for long lasting defined curls. Um, it's supposed to give long-lasting curl definition, luminous shine, and moisture balance. And the key ingredients in this are avocado, honey, and sage extracts. I have been looking at this product literally since my freshman year of college. I used to live across the street from a Whole Foods. So I would always be in there looking at what they had. And this was one of those products that I really couldn't afford. <laughs> but I wanted it anyway. This smells really good. The smell on this is strong now. I can see this getting on somebody's nerves, but it smells really good. And you can see, like she's, she's, she's wiggly, wiggly jiggly. So I'm excited to try this. Um, a lot of people have said that this has like crazy hold. So I'm super hyped to try this. I don't know if I'm gonna do one video or like multiple videos on Trey Lux. I'm not sure, but I know that I'm really excited to have the product, so. I can't wait to try those. Like I said, I've been eyeing Trey, Trey Lux since my freshman year of college. So I'm really excited to finally like dive into the brand because it's definitely like one of those, you know, it's it. I think it definitely counts as an OG natural hair product line. I am really excited about getting jiggy with Trey Lux. And now last but not least, let me show you the last few things I got from She Sent It. <laughs> Y'all, I love coffee. Coffee's so good. I mean, I might as well be silly. We ain't, we all ain't got nowhere else to go. We ain't doing nothing. <laughs> oh, right. So she sent it did a 50% off sale. Ooh, and they gave me a coupon. Hi. Um, I don't need to buy nothing else. I really don't. But I did remember that I should have gotten another bottle of my Marula Mallow leave-in. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll be good. I have a couple other leave-ins I need to get through. But I went ahead, I replaced a couple of items. I got a back, I, I got um, some backups 
because one of these products I know I'm going to be pushing out heavily now that it's, you know, warmer and stuff. I'm going to be using it a lot more and I know I'm going to need another jar. So the first thing I got, which looks very different from the last one I had, um, is the She Scented Pomegranate Pear Moisture Milk Multifunctioning Leave-In Styler. So this definitely is more of like a tan yellow color. They have updated the packaging. They've been updating their packaging. Um, but the ingredients, from what I can see, have not changed. It looks like they have worked to make this a little bit thicker, though, which I'm fine with. Um, the only thing is that if it's thicker, I go through it a little bit quicker. Yeah, they've really been working on updating the packaging. Um, nice metal top. Does it smell the same? Yeah, it smells the same. But yeah, it is a little bit thicker, but as long as she got the slit and the moisture, we good. I love the pomegranate pear moisture milk. It took me like a whole year to get through my first bottle because it took that little, kind of like the way it's taken me with this Marula Mello leave-in conditioner. It takes forever to get through that stuff because it's just, it's lightweight, but it still adds so much moisture and it glides through the hair so beautifully so i don't have to use a lot of it to get good results so love my pomegranate pear moisture milk i emptied this a few months ago so it was time for me to go ahead and re-up um and then i have the pomegranate pear oil and gel hair pudding for a touch and it's a touchable hold styling gel this is my og baby from she sent it i have gone through countless jars of this stuff um, and honestly, I just hadn't repurchased it because I wanted to go ahead and give my other She Scented Stylers some time to shine. Um, but if you haven't seen this before, oh, this is definitely a little bit thicker. That's what she looks like. I love this so much and it definitely, it looks like they whipped a little bit more air into it. It almost looks like there's shimmer in it, though. It's kind of weird, but it's cool. You can't really see it on the camera. I love this stuff so much, and it is one of my favorite stylers to date. The Pomegranate Pear collection is really what got me, like, in love head over heels with She Sent It. I remember the first time I used this, I had this big, beautiful, voluminous wash and go, um, and that day I went out shopping with my friend and like every other person that came by me, well, every other black girl, cause you know, as black girls, we be, we be watching each other. It was, what is in your hair? Oh my God. What is in your hair? Your hair is so pretty girl. What is in your hair? And that is like the trend with me and she sent it. She sent it is like the brand that gets me noticed. Like she sent it is the brand that will have people stopping and being like, I need the details of what's in your hair. Um, like, can you write it down for me? Like, I can't tell you how many times I have she sent it in my hair. This, um, the Tahiti cocktail or the plum nectar and agave. And people will literally be like, can you get a pen and paper and write down exactly what is in your hair? I kid you not. And it's always when I have she sent it in my hair. She sent it gives me my best hair. Period. So, you know, that's why I hype it up. She sent it is my brand. Like it just is. My hair is in love with she sent it. <laughs> and then I did get a backup of my Tahiti cocktail curl enhancing jelly cup curl enhancing jelly custard. So I went ahead and got a backup of this because y'all know I was in shock by how this treated my hair when I did my review last year. Um, I have a review on all these she scented products that I'm showing you. So if you want to see those, go check it out, y'all, please. Especially when I'm doing these stash videos. I spend a lot of time giving you guys super detailed, consistent reviews. If you want to know more about a product, type in my name, the third eye angel, and type in the product or the collection the video will pop up. If I tell you I have a video on it, please don't ask me about it in the comments. Just go watch the video because I put a whole lot of work into doing this, okay? So I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be real. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube and so much material for you guys to reference. 
I don't have time to keep, you know, regurgitating why I like something in the comments. Just go check it out. If I have a video, go check it out. I do have a video on this. I love the way this makes my curls look. I mean, the shine was amazing. Gave me a really nice, strong hold, sealed in the moisture into my hair. And it, I mean, it was like humidity resistant, y'all. This stuff is like, this stuff is like armor for my hair, especially in the summer. I was so pissed off at myself for taking such a long time to finally like review the Tahiti Cocktail Collection. It's an amazing collection. So I went ahead and got some more of this because I know like as soon as the dew points really get up there, your girl gonna be using this because this is literally armor for my curls. And I just told you guys, I went through this mask. Um, this was in my recent empties. This is the Marula Mallow Miracle Melt Mask for very dry hair. And I love this so, 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 so much. This is such a good deep conditioner, y'all. And this is one of those conditioners that just shocks me every time I use it because it's just so good. The texture is everything. The smell is on point. Like, my hair just loves this stuff. It's one of those conditioners that I have to be particular about when I use it, though, because it can really, like, the moisture is there and the softness is there. And so for my fine strands, I have to be careful sometimes. So I'm very particular about when I use this. But I love this deep conditioner. It's so good. The Marula Mellow stuff in general is popping. Like, it's amazing. It's so good. And then last but not least, I got another jar of my plum nectar and agave moisture rich hair mayo i'm not going to open this because i'm working on my other jar right now but i told you guys i love this stuff it's such a good deep conditioner i mean the way it just has my curls looking like and after the plum nectar and agave shampoo the curl perfection shampoo and then you know i rinse it out and then i go in with this and the way it just it's so good the plum nectar and agave collection is everything y'all it's just so good. So I love this mask too. Like I said, it's coming for some of my favorites. It's coming from Marula Mallow and Royal Honey and Argan because this is dope. So I had to get a backup of this just in case they do away with the Plum Nectar and Agave range because I have a backup of my Curl Perfection Styling Custard. Got a backup of that. I'm good on that. I had to make sure I had a backup of that. But um this this right here is amazing so i went ahead and got it back up because i told y'all this was back up worthy. okay guys that is my natural hair product haul y'all know i stay buying y'all stay requesting so i stay picking stuff up um so yeah um i'm gonna be doing videos on all this stuff um like i said the she scented stuff i have videos on all of it so go ahead check it out because it's there for you to watch and see all the beautiful results because uh, none of them are fails. So <laughs> go and check those out if you have any questions about that. Stay tuned. Um, I'm going to try to have the Melba's video up as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for chilling out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing. And of course, if you've been here rocking with me, you know I love you. Y'all the best. Thanks for putting up with me and all my pent up energy during, you know, quarantine and all that good stuff. Hopefully y'all are rocking and doing okay. Clearly, I'm doing decent. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.